Stay outside, I'ma open up a window and blow out the single. Get the whole world high. Starting with my city. What's up YouTube, Chef Hans here bringing you another adults only CBD and cannabis product review. So let's have some fun guys, get right into it. Today we're talking about Canna Comforts Hemp Flower. Uh, I follow them on Instagram and they, they blew this whole thing up. We got a new strain out, we got a new strain, you gotta check it out. I was excited about it, I was like oh heck yeah I'm gonna check it out. So I bought an eighth. Small little order. It's my first time ordering with this company. This is what came in the mail. Uh, it's 3.5 grams of their grams of their strain called Russian Automatic. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, and this came in a Mylar bag. Okay, and this uh, says it's 11.23% CBD with less than 0.3% THC. Service pretty good, came to me about four days. Let me tell you something, guys. If your stuff just comes in an envelope and it's just in a bag like this, guarantee that your whole mailbox and you're gonna be able to smell exactly what's inside of it. Uh, this came and let me tell you, when I opened my mailbox, it smelled like some pretty dank ass weed inside of my mailbox which is not cool this should have been in a vacuum sealed bag or something uh or or even maybe this this wasn't sealed at all this was just i mean this is exactly how it came and bam it's open uh it wasn't sealed or nothing so you know that could be an issue i'm trying to be discreet here i don't want my mail person to think i'm shipping you know, drugs through the mail or anything. I'm trying to buy a legal hemp product and it kind of puts off the wrong impression. So we're gonna bring it down close so you can see the uh, flower that came in at the Russian Automatic. We're gonna talk about it. So let's go down close. Right, so here we are with the Can of Comforts Russian Automatic uh, Hemp Flower. Guys, you know I'm honest with you. You know, I'm gonna tell you straight up what it's like. Do you see this? I mean, this is flat, compressed. I mean, it's just flat and compressed. It's not, it's like, I don't know. It's not like buds. I mean, they're completely flat, compressed. Uh, this one and this one are purple. This one and this one are green. Um, the smell, I'm getting like a tangy, kind of crisp, light earthy smell with like some uh, cedar, maybe hint of pine. I'm gonna crack this bud open. When I crack it open, I get like a, a musky, funky, kind of sweet berry type of smell. Uh, the flowers, guys, I mean, you can see they're sticky. They got some resin glands on them, uh, but they're just flat, compressed. They're not actual like bud form, you know, it's just really flat and compressed. They do seem, you know, pretty dense. Uh, well, not very dense, but kind of sticky. Um, you know, the purple on these, these two are purple, green, green. Um, the resin glands don't look bad, but they're just kind of flat. Not usually what I'm used to. I haven't smoked it yet. Let's do a smoke test. Uh, you and me going to be smoking it and tasting it for the first time together. So here we go. Guys, right, so we got the uh, Russian Automatic from Can of Comfort. So what I did was I took a purple one and a green one, put it together in there. So here we go. Hmm. It's kind of got an earthy sweet musky I don't really taste much of anything other than just burnt uh, muskiness I mean it's a it's an okay taste it's just kind of sweet um, nothing really to write home about in my opinion um, you know this I was really excited for this one guys and maybe it's just not the right one we'll keep looking uh, let you know on the effects of it here in a little bit all right, so all in all guys uh, can of comforts Russian automatic hemp flower 
personally, and this is just my opinion, I it's not for me. It's it was pretty flat, but and it doesn't seem like it was maybe I don't want to say it wasn't dried properly or cured properly, but it's just it's very um, wet. It's just not enjoyable for me to smoke. I'm, I'll, I'll use it. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll still use the eighth. I'll, you know, grind it up and probably do some pre-rolls, with mix it with some other hemp flour that I've got. Or maybe I'll throw it in the rosin press and just extract it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll cook with it. Oh, that's the thing. We might cook with this. Maybe I'll do a video soon and we'll cook with this uh, instead. If anyone from Can of Comforts is watching this, Please package your stuff better. This was, my, the whole package was reeking. I mean, before I even took it out the mailbox. I mean, my whole mailbox just was, smelled like dank weed is what it smelled like. Uh, which is okay. I mean, it has a smell and it's a great smell. I love the smell. But if you're trying to be discreet about it, don't order this. Because your mail person is probably going to know that you got something in that package. Because... I mean, I can smell it. I can smell it now. I smelled it before I even opened the package. I'll open the mailbox. I can smell it. I'm driving up to the... All right, I'm just kidding. I couldn't smell it driving up to the mailbox. But anyways, Can of Comforts, if you want to go check them out, I will leave a link in their description. They have other hemp flower. I haven't tried them yet. Uh, they blew this one up on Instagram saying it was their new strain. It was going to sell out. I was pretty excited about it. And I got it, and it was just kind of flat buds with... Uh, pretty potent smell. The effects on it were pretty good. Um, I felt a little relief, uh, medical pain wise with my hand. Felt a little bit of relief. I've had better. Uh, 13, 11.23% uh, is what this rate says. So it's not super high CBD, uh, but all in all, it, you know, so this if you like this got. video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. We're going to be coming at you with a lot more CBD and cannabis product reviews. We got some more hemp flour, lots of concentrates. We've got all kinds of stuff in the works, genetics threads box. Hey, we're excited about this. October, they announced who the breeder was, and it's Crockett Farms, guys. Holy smokes. Are you ready for this? And it's their one year anniversary, so they're gonna be loading this box up and I'm excited to review it for you guys. Uh, we got a lot more subscription boxes coming. We got Daily High Club, we got Hemper. Uh, I believe we have a Cincy box for her coming in the mail soon. My wife ordered it, I didn't order it, she did, but I have to review it. So I'm gonna review the Cincy box for her coming soon, guys. So until then, Hans out.